the Bengals have claimed off of waivers from the Atlanta Falcons defensive end to Karis McKinley tack now 25 in his first two seasons with the Falcons was a guy who recorded 13 sacks 25 QB hits and 14 tackle for losses in 32 or 31 games but then well the best way I can put this in a Bengals fans terms is he pulled a Carlos Dunlap and we have to question, you know, how much of that was affected in his 2019 performance. And there's no question about it. It affected his 2020 performance thus far this season. And it's obviously a big concern as you never want someone begging to be off the team or, you know, taking plays off on a field. But for what it's worth, you know, Carlos just had a really good first game debut over there in Seattle. And hey, maybe sometimes that's what it takes. A guy just needs a little change of scenery, a chance to, you know, get a fresh start, a chance to clear the mind. And you know what? Things could go swimmingly. And for me, I still look at this as a guy, he's a very talented man. Again, you know, you question the effort the last season and season and a half, but when you get that change of scenery, maybe we get that brought out of it. Maybe he takes that big step here for these Cincinnati Bengals that can help out this pass rush. I mean, at the end of the day, this is a Bengals defensive line that has struggled to get pressure on the quarterback this season. And what's the worst that can happen here and adding him and hoping he can help that cause there for these Bengals. And I really do think this is a chance for the coaching staff to redeem themselves here. This is a coaching staff. We just brought it up. Carlos Dunlap, they let him get away from. Let's put it, you know, I mean, it's not always something the coaches can control. I do get that. But at the same time, it was, you know, they let Carlos's emotions and they let him out, walk him out the door. He didn't want to be here no more type of deal. They lost a player like that. Now they have a chance to bring in a guy like Tack, who is a similar problem, maybe even a bigger problem, to be quite frank, than what Carlos Dunlap was. But they have a chance to bring him in, take him, you know, get him under control, clear the mind for him, help him out, help him improve, and help make him become a guy that can help this team win games. It's one of those cases, though, where I like to say good coaches fix these problems. We've seen it time and time again. Toxic players leave other teams, are demanding to get it traded from other teams, they're not happy playing right now, they're taking plays off, whatever. And they go to a team like the Patriots, and Uncle Bill over there takes care of business and gets these guys, you know, in the proper headspace, and they start playing really well again. You get these guys when they're low risk, low price tag, cost you about nothing, bring them on in, and the reward is through the roof if you can get them going the right direction. And this is a defense that's given up 400 yards per game this season. The worst that can happen is Tack comes in, he struggles, he wants out of Cincinnati, and okay, he's out the door in eight weeks maximum. I love the addition here, I really do. And it's just another sign that the Bengals are continuing to try to bring in pieces, whether they work or don't work, trying to bring in pieces to make this a winning football club. And if they can bring in, the more defensive players they can bring in, the more they can lean towards picking an offensive lineman in the first round as well next season, we'll just see what happens. You're hoping for the best attack in these Bengals though.